Hello, my name is Jonas. In this video, I want to show how to play HDR video, such as movies and TV shows, on a HDR capable TV or external display connected to your Mac. But before we begin, remember to like and subscribe, that's highly appreciated. So, in my previous video, I explained how to play HDR video in macOS Catalina using a newer MacBook Pro introduced in 2018 or later which now also supports playback of HDR content on a built-in laptop screen. In this video, I will show you how to instead connect an external display or TV for HDR playback. If you start by taking a look at this Apple support page, we can see that newer Macs now support HDR playback on an external monitor, connected either via DisplayPort or HDMI. And since I have a late 2018 MacBook Pro, I'm in luck here. To be able to view content in HDR, you basically need a newer machine with Thunderbolt 3 connectivity over USB-C. If you have a monitor that supports HDR over DisplayPort, it seems that you only need to connect a compatible cable to make this work. If you try this, please let me know how it works for you. Now, personally, I want to connect my LG OLED TV over HDMI, so that's what I'll be focusing on in this particular video. To make that work, I'll need a USB-C to HDMI adapter that's compatible with HDR. And this can for example be the Belkin adapter that Apple sells for 50 bucks in the Apple store. And this is also the one that I bought. To get the HDR playback to work on my TV, I simply connect the adapter and the HDMI cable to an input on the TV where I've enabled deep color. I also make sure to set the picture profile to the most color accurate one, which on my TV is the Cinema or Technicolor Expert profile. To enable or disable HDR in macOS, go to System Preferences, Displays and check or uncheck the box next to where it says High Dynamic Range. With this option enabled, it's not possible to play back HDR content in a QuickTime player on the TV. I don't know how well this will translate to you, but if I play one of my recent videos, Spring Water in HDR, The Lake, it looks great. And if you press up on the remote and hit enter, we can confirm that the TV is in HDR mode and also direct 2020 color space. Now, as I talked about in the previous video, I understand that Catalina now supports HDR playback in the TV app, and Netflix supports HDR in the Safari internet browser. But I guess that if you want to watch Netflix on a HDR capable TV, you might as well be using the TV's own Netflix app. Another scenario might be if you wish to watch Netflix on a HDR capable computer monitor, then being able to play back HDR on Netflix in Safari is a good option to have. I'm also making another video about how to create HDR video in Final Cut Pro, using this adapter to preview in HDR on an external display or TV. And this is a real game changer. Previously you would need an expensive video card from for example AGA or Blackmagic Design to make this work. I would also like to hear about your experience with HDR playback in macOS and iOS as well for that matter. Please let me know if it's something you tried out and what you like or don't like about it. If you have thoughts or questions please leave a comment below. Also remember to like and subscribe for videos. Thanks for watching, until next time, goodbye.